Okay. So the plan is to put an outside covering. I'm going back to this. Uh, I just got cut off from my video. Sorry, guys. Uh, this is a continuation of the project house here in uh, Dallas. So the left-hand floor, uh, left-hand outside decking is about an inch higher than the floor on the right, the red floor, which is the living room floor. And the owner is putting a two inch limestone on top of the outside. I can see by the decking that there's a, a slope to the left uh, where, the, where the decking outside is sloping away. It's got a good slope to it. But the problem is you can't really depend on that, particularly with limestone, because it's so porous. And we know that eventually water's gonna get up in here one way or another and we want to prevent it from being a problem. So they already had some of the limestone installed and I decided to pull it out because no one had taken the time to do any preventative measures, waterproofing between the outside and the inside. And I'll show you what I mean. This is the outside, right here is a big gap of where water was coming in. Now you can see the concrete, so this is a little below the concrete, but when you get on top of it, right here, it's actually about the plate height, the bottom of the plate, you can see right there, the bottom of the wall. And when we rinsed it off the other day, that's how all that water got in the inside I showed you earlier in the last video. Nobody has done anything to prevent that from happening. They just were going to put the, the uh, limestone down and be happy about it. And this is the limestone. And you can see it's thick. It's two inches. Good stuff. Or inch and a half. And so that's all good. And by the time you put a bed on it, it would end up where it was um, oh, three inches above that floor. So whenever it rained, the rain would be in higher than this floor. And its natural tendency is going to be to end up at the lowest point, which is this floor. So we're going to fix that. What we're going to do is we're going to take a tube of sealant and we're going to put a big thick bead almost like deco seal, which you use around pools. And we're gonna fill that crack in, and then we're gonna red guard, or do a liquid membrane that's gonna come out, it'll be to the bottom of the window, and it'll come down, and it'll go out here probably about 12 to 18 inches. And we're, the idea is to create a solid waterproof membrane all along that wall so that water can't migrate in. Now this is all stuff that could have been done originally, probably a whole lot cheaper than having to redo it now, but this is kind of the problems I keep running into on these projects, people are asking me to come and fix them because there's a bunch of people working these jobs that just don't understand and don't think through these things. You know, they just get in here and they just do and they don't think. Um, so at the, in our next video, we'll do a video of us doing the sealing process 
where we're sealing the outside of that wall. And then we'll um, have another video of the concrete going in. And that's all for this video. Thanks.